Hello and welcome to the Ravens Rock. My name's Phil and we're back live again on another Monday evening doing our normal hobby hangout. Seeing all some building done. I hope you've all had a productive weekend and um, yeah, I hope you've all had a good start to the week. Oh, sorry, I'm on the coffee already. So, um, so this week we are going to be painting up way back to issue two of the Mortal Realms magazine. And it is the Maya Home Banshees. So you've got a pack of four of them. Painted one up, ready, just so I had a scheme, knew what I was going for. And yeah, just followed the, the normal scheme of the rest of my night haunt army. Rather than going with a white cowl, cloak, um, gone for the darker one. And then the ethereal bit being the arms and the bit underneath. So we've got three of these to be getting on tonight. So there's plenty to be getting on with. Oh, first things first, let's see who we've got in the chat. Super professional as always. Um have we got we got a Mr. Richard Smith, good evening, pal. And a Mr. Normsky. Good evening, Normsky. It's nice to see you here. Um bit of an upgrade this week. Um brushes I've been using just over a year now. Um, the type of brushes I've been using were just like these are some nice. Cheap, as I said, cheap. You got a pack of like five or six of them for ten pound from Amazon. They've done the job. Um, you know, they're all right for what you paid. You, you damage them; it's cheap enough to swap them out. Um, I've decided finally to bite the bullet, and I've been and bought some top-notch brushes. Um, I'll just get these out and show you. And we've got these bad boys. And we've got the Broken Toad Mark 3s. And there's a pack of four of them. I'll just open this up and keep the box because I like the box. It's a nice little thing for keeping hold of them. So in the box, you get a zero. A number one brush, a 3.0, whatever it is, three, three zero, and a number two brush. So we'll be giving a whirl with these tonight. Um, I've had a little bit of a play with them and a proper impress with how, how they hold the paint and the application of the paint as well. Um, my older brushes, I'll be keeping them mainly for my um, base coats, getting paint out of tubs, stuff like that. And my metallics, because there's no way I want to use metallics on these. So we'll see how we get on with these tonight. So I should also say there's no way endorsed by Broken Toad. Um, it's just a little shout out. I've got managed to upgrade and get my brushes so we'll see how we get on from there I'll just get some more of the old coffee down my neck and we should get some music going and start painting so hopefully the sound's okay and I'm sure you'll let me know in the chat if it's playing up or if the music's too loud. Playing up or if the music's too loud. Oh, 
There we go. One second. <laughs> I turned that off. I've just got a random playlist thing going, Normsky. Um, what's it on? EDM. We don't want EDM. It's the chill one. Because we are having it as a chill one. Um, yeah, that's a bit better. Oh, we've got Ash popping up in chat. Hey, Ash, hope oh, you've had a nice day, pal. Nice of you to pop in. I hope you're getting some of yours done. I see you managed to pick your other magazine up the other day. Right, so first things first. I'm going to do the ethereal bit just under here, so we'll get the base coat on for that. And while that's drying, we'll then get the cloaks done before we go on for dry brushing and stuff. So nice and easy. So with the ethereal, we're going to go a low from blue, just water it down quite heavy. Three of them for it to do anyway. There we go. Let's get a good mix. Get some water in that. Like I said, the, uh, the broker tool ones, we'll use them more for the details and stuff. We just want to get these base coats down nice and quick. So we'll just use the cheaper brushes. And we've got Spud popping in. Yes, my G. How's it going, Spud? Hope you're all right. Not just a little bit that I've missed there. I'm just going to get that. That'll stand out like a soap on. One issue 47 last night. Nice one. Just remind me, pal, which one was the um, what model was it from 47? We'll be dry brushing over all this anyway and take it right back. Evening, Mr. Smith. How are you? I'm not Smith. Hope you both well. Oh, 
Australia Swift Blade. I don't recognise the name of that one, pal. I might have to have a quick just flick through. Is that one of the um, Stormcast ones? Uh, Mr. Disson, is it Disson Snogot popping in the chat? And seen you sub earlier, pal. Thank you very much for that. Wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. There's uh, no green skin on here today, though, pal, I'm afraid. Hope you're well. Camera, come on, zoom, focus. Try the trick. I'm being spot those. There we go. No, cheat camera says no. Ah. Just keep working on. So next one. Can't wait to have a proper play with these new brushes. Uh, I own an ad for quite a long time. Um, is it worth it? I mean, yeah, it's worth it, but for me, was it worth the outlay of however many pound it worth for the brushes when I can just get cheaper ones? And as they break or with me not being as an experienced painter, um, damaging them. And with everything that's going on, they, they've had a sale thing on um, where you get a, they call it an isolation pack. And I'm pretty sure Norm Skill confirm it in the um, chat if it's still there um, I think it's gone permanent now or it, it's not just like a a deal whilst there's a lot down going um, so I got the Mark 3's with Some brush soap and I got a bust with it as well um, which I will be painting up on the channel pretty soon I just want to try and work my way through as many of these over the next few weeks um, but yeah we'll have that on on one of the shores pretty soon. Um, yeah, that was the first um, resin model that I've got and the detail on it I was really really impressed um, 
So yeah, we'll, we'll have that on the show pretty soon. We'll see how we get on. Like I was saying, um, we've was umming and ahhing for quite a long time in order to get some better brushes and it just worked out right for me at the time. Um, and the more painting I'm doing, obviously from, from where I were a year ago, the painting I think has improved. So, let's see, obviously if I can improve any further, because obviously you're only as, as good as the tools that you're using. If you're using cheap NAF tools, you're only going to achieve a certain sort, certain finish. Yeah, they're going to be my main like detail brushes and stuff like that. I still use my cheap ones for my metallics and bases because I don't want to, like I said, damage them. Let's see how we get on over the next how many of the weeks. This I'm doing okay, aside from a slight hobby knife versus finger match that just two place. Ooh. That sounds a bit painful. bit of that don't oh. Oh, Mr. Smith popping in again saying evening I don't know if you troll him <laughs> oh popping in and out well um yeah welcome again right so now we shall move on to the cloaks i've got a dark reaper I'll just say them again yeah, quite a bit of this is three one that'll be enough it down quite a bit, I want it to flow quite nicely. Yeah, that should get away with that. So, straight in. On the box art for these ones, um, the two quarts of this, um, the cloaks on these were white on the banshees. Um, I've just done slightly different, so just so it ties in with how I've painted the rest of my army up. Obviously, you can. 
paint yours however you want if you're following the box art or from the magazine. And we've got Pickle Jer popping in. Good evening, Josh. How are you, pal? Nice of you to uh, pop in and see us, pal. I'm glad you're here. I know you're normally busy um, editing on a Monday. So, yeah, really happy that you could take time out to come in and Say hello. The hands are shaking here. Eh? So I'll be going over with a second coat on here anyway. So, Get these bases down. problem at all pal um, obviously uh, your own channel comes first uh, you know I totally understand that um, I'm just really happy that you could pop in being one of the guys that helped and, and um, yeah it inspired me to get my own channel going and up and running too bad because obviously we'll go over the railings anyway if I do catch it definitely made that a bit too thin on the first court we'll come back and get that on second court anyway oh I totally didn't get in to help you with skill like that's all good pal um like i said whenever whenever you've got time um i just really appreciate the help i had a little play um with the stream labs earlier um i managed to get 
like me two cameras set up so I had my face cam and that's way too thin and the camera here and then I can flip between the two most like I think it was like a sub count thing and a little zombie pops up along and stuff so I managed to have a play with all that um, I didn't have a clue how to put the music so it's, at the moment it's coming through the speakers um, and then obviously my microphone just picks it up it does the job for the time being until obviously I can sit down and work it all out properly um, so I got pretty much quite a lot of it done I, well, I think I did, <laughs> being the complete novice that I am with it. Um, so I tried doing, I, I tried going live on it, and it seemed to work. But when I ended it, I did it like as a <clears throat> a sound test and a visual test. So then, when I come off it to then view it on the YouTube channel. Um, it wasn't there for some reason. Um, so I just reverted back for tonight. But then when I did that, I had to go in and reset up my microphone and everything again. Um, like it did the other week when I had a little bit of a <laughs> nervous breakdown because my bloody I went live and my camera was... Uh, not camera, sorry. The microphone wasn't working so I had to luckily because of how that happened last time I knew a little bit of what I was looking for to go in and reset it This weekend, mate. Let's do it. Let's, yeah, it's a date, Spud. Stream lads with Spud. There you go, you got me singing now. Oh, you know, quite a busy weekend planned ahead then, obviously. So jump on here with you, try and get that sorted. So it'd be nice to get that done and then I can. You know, I've got a few ideas of getting a, a few people on as guests and stuff like that. Um, so it'd be nice to know how to do all stuff like that. And then, I think Saturday evening, late afternoon, evening, we've got a first D&D &D, uh, with Mr. Wybird, I believe it is. He's the Dungeon Master. Oh, looking forward to that. I've never actually played D&D. Watch is going off. But, yeah, really looking forward to that. And I've got my own little character made up ready. Um, <clears throat> just happens to be I had a, a miniature that I was playing about with. But um, works as my D and D character as well. Turn this down a little bit. There we go. It's a bit loud for me. Hopefully, it weren't too loud and deafening for you guys. Get 
Look at me, that's nice. Don't get it salted. I'm into dishing, currently slicing fingers and carving screws to bits. So, uh, you actually doing some kit bashing there, are you, pal? Um, are you working on something in particular? And it's just decided to bite back at you. something definitely like that. Oh, that's gone way too thin. There we go. Saved it. <laughs> My cold eggs got shit today. Yes, both you are forty k. Um, any of you guys in the chat? I was don't know. Spud, he's entered into a tournament, and well, his friends come on, will enter into a tournament this year. So, Spud being the guy he is, yeah, let's go. And it's only the Grand Tournament in London. So you get all the actually people turning up. But I'm pretty confident Spud will smash it. He's got his Codex now, so he's on a winner. Oh, I'm pretty confident you'll smash it spud you know all the guys on the discord and on the chilling war gamers are 100 percent behind you would have been absolutely epic if we could all go down it would have been funny that just before spud takes his turn everyone's screaming wah Good evening, Tina. Glad you could make it. Hope you've had a nice weekend. And a lovely start to the week. Been absolute legends popping in in the chat today. So happy you could all be here to join me on a Monday evening. I'm 
just get this cut down and I'm going to have a look at my issue guide and see what that one you were on about Ash I had streamed with Colin yesterday I had lots of fun nice Tina I didn't see that um, I didn't have a notification nothing pop up on that um if you could do us a favour and just pop us a link in the chat or in the messages in the Discord and I'll jump on straight after here and see if I can find it. Crazy Crafty Colin. I'm sure I'm sub to him, but I didn't get a notification for some reason. Unless um, YouTube's been playing up again. Mondays with Raven Rook. Mondays with Rook. Hey, it's not got quite the... Uh, ring to it as Spud does. Yeah, I don't. I, I do like having a go at the old terrain building. Um, you've seen the, um, you know, I said Mortal Realms, <laughs> the uh, Dwarven Mine. I can't remember which name it was of it. it Mirith. So someone will correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Like your dwarven mine, that would be awesome. Can't wait for to see that finished. Moria, that's it. So that's the that Moria, that's the one where they have to speak Elvish or Old Elvish to open the door by the lake, isn't it? If I'm correct. hit this stage it won't look like how it should do I'll speak friend and enter I thought it was right let's just have a quick look bear with me one second I just want to see there's another one just have a flick through me Content. I wanted to see which one that was. Ash was working on on his. It's forty-five. They're the fast riders. Uh, that's the ones I did the other week with the. Um, he's got the eagle on his arm, isn't it, Ash? Oh. 
Bloody hell, seven people in here. Morlock. Seven people in on a Monday. Fucking crazy. Really appreciate you taking the um, time out to any of your hobbying or just chilling. But yeah, no, I appreciate it. We love every single one of you popping in here. Yeah, I was covering better now. Just need that second call. Superstar legend <laughs> from it, Spud. I'm no Spud or Pickle or Elston even. Oh yeah, it's covering nice and smooth now. Sometimes it's always that first court, it just looks an absolute pig when you get it down. Gap, no, I've been in trouble with the push to fit ones. I mean, just weren't for going in there. As soon as I got it into the base, it popped back open. It's just something I'm going to have to live with on that one. I'll come back with some green stuff. Um, Tina were on about the other day with the the varnish and you can fill gaps but I don't think it's going to cover the uh, Grand Canyon of gaps though to make a lantern. I got challenged by Michael from that one bed. Ooh, that'd be nice. I'd like to see that when it's finished. done I can get on my two brushes. Probably might not even get to use them. I don't want to use them with metallics. Definitely not these ones. Um, and I'm not 100% sure I've heard if you're using contrast paints you're not meant to use them on that it does something to the metal in them let's see how far we get on with this
use contrast pads or anything like that. Yeah, I thought it looked something. So let's wash it all contacts. Yeah. Cheers for clearing that up, Josh. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't want to use me Mark threes with uh, metallics. Um, I wasn't too sure about using them for basing. I had heard that yeah, obviously you shouldn't use them for basing as well. Inside though, I use cheap synthetics for the yeah. We've got my Amazon specials for that. It's just me being keen to use them. Second coat on that first one. Keep the nice brushes in a box for looking at. <laughs> See, the trouble is there though. Pirate Queen Pickle, I'll just sit there like this and go, my precious, my precious, and then just keep opening them like that, stroke them a little bit, and then put them back, and then they'll never get used. <laughs> and then someone will find me in about six months time huddled up in a cupboard looking like Gollum As much of these done tonight. I'm trying. I've got quite a lot of these um, undercoated and ready to go now. So hopefully, a couple of hours or an hour or two after work every night this week, I should completely catch up with my night home. I'm not that far behind with them. It's mint. I've been flicking between them and the Stormcast, but then last week I just couldn't be bothered with them at all. No matter what I were doing with them, it was it just felt wrong. It, it didn't feel right painting them. Um, so I just had a little bit of selfish me time went back to painting what i know best and straight back onto my raven guard so everything just black with a red trim done um I finally managed to get uh, i think i've got them all done now actually yeah so all my Indomitus set is now complete. It's just um, a lot of them were just waiting on basing. Um, 
I'd started basing some one way and sod's law I found a, a nicer way that I liked them. So I tried one or two. Like right, yeah, definitely like them better this way. So I spent the weekend just rebasing them. with how, how they've turned out now it's definitely the way uh, Raven Guard will have the bases so stick with that now so, I need to catch back up with these now get these done away before the new one comes out which uh, Magazine. Pretty sure a few of you did. Um, and there's an email saying that the the trial, I think, it's now done. And there's only certain areas they were doing the trial in, but they were doing it to see if it'd be successful. I mean, it's 40k. It's going to be successful. You know, you need a plastic crack addiction figured in. As long as they're putting little plastic minis out, people will be buying them. Um, but the end of the email was saying basically end of summer that it should be coming out. They need to get hold of Games Workshop for a, a nationwide UK release now. end of summer I think it runs pretty much in line with the Mortal Realms magazine so as long as I can get this finished or there or thereabouts we've got with one or two models I should be okay I don't want to be flicking backwards and forwards too much There we go, so that's them all based up now. Let's see what's going on in chat. Oh, bloody hell, it's going off tonight. <laughs> Weren't expecting this. Oh my god. I've gone right back. set from book and so I'm not using yeah saving them for when I paint the bus I got yeah uh which bus did you get with it Josh um what I got I've partly built it up I say I'm gonna focus tall because of that bloody light it's the Hearn the Huntress with the wolf on I mean it's absolutely massive compared to what I've been used to painting um, really happy that's what I was on about earlier the detail on that is just crazy let's catch up with this chat um, let's start that this way spray yeah, I think there's a lot of places having trouble with spray at the moment. Um, I think I got lucky the other week. I got two tins of the Army Painter uh, from Amazon. And since I got them, it looks like it's out of stock. So I don't know if there's a problem with that. They look like, like to order, but I'm afraid I will pay way too much 
customs again. Into Europe. Shouldn't cost you that much. Yeah, um, from what I hear, the, the staying in the UK, but part of it's moving to Poland, I think it was. So, yeah, you should be able to get over there and then you won't have any the customs tax or anything like that to pay to you, so you should be fine there. this music uh, he's i got sick of having spotify on josh uh flipping meerkat advert popping up all the time uh so one of the guys at work i think he streams on twitch uh on his xbox thing and he recommended a, a, a free one this pretzel rocks i've just been using this so there's there's, there's no ads on it uh it's youtube friendly one well, there's loads of different genres on it. So you've got like EDM, rock, stuff like that. Um, I think it automatically put an EDM one on earlier, which Normski didn't approve of. We just put a little chill one. Um, I think it turned into Jazz FM. The sail away bus, that is a nice one. I mean, you should really have that one anyway, being having a pirate pickle. But I've seen that one. That I had a look at that one. Um, there's time between two. There was the Witcher King, I think it is, or Wiccan King. And then Hearn. Um, but there was another one on there which is absolutely massive. Um, what palette which flesh? I'm picking wrong colour up then. Um, is it Rough Child or something? It's like a big dragon and he's fighting it. Oh, we've got Elston popping in the chat. Good evening, Elston. So glad you could join us, pal. Wicking King is awesome. I've still got, yeah, won it in your raffle. Yeah, I remember watching that, Josh. Um, be interesting to see what the painting maestro conjures up with that. I'm just doing a, a light dry brush now. Let's concentrate a bit more heavy towards the bottom for the ethereal bit. So we're just going with a Ultium Grey. towards the top and just over the hands just to take that back a bit I'm wondering if you take a bit more off that so there's virtually nothing on brush over the over the face just so it brings it back a little bit just so it highlights them eyes a bit I missed it on the I don't know if you can see 
that a bit better on that one. Focus. Is that the cat you was painting up on your channel the other week, Josh? Like the... I can't remember the name of it, like possum boot sort of thing. Can you start over all again? I got distracted, so messed up. up. <laughs> yeah, of course I can. <laughs> I don't think the uh, missus would approve of go strolling in it. One o'clock in the morning and start all over again. Um, basically, just missed me giving you a, a free plug on the old. Sat there, kept opening the box, stroking them. The brushes, that is. Calling them my precious. Enjoying the music on this is not the usual thing I kind of listen to. Um, I think for what we've been doing, it's nice and chill. brush now. I'll just give that a good clean. It's the destination evening all evening all again. I'm sure people are trying to hold me a few jumps on tonight and said it good evening a few times. special one and get some of these metallics done in fact before we do that get the leather done on this and just break out the old snake bite leather So I've used for all my leather rate there. Um, I mean, for me, it works really, really well. I highly rate it for mine. Um, as a contrast paint, it does what it says on the tin. always shade it down and go a bit darker by doing a couple of passes as simple as that 
used to this camera angle one day. There we go. Something weird is happening with my computer. Not sure what that can't come up again. How is everyone this evening? I had it the other. I think it was on Spud Stream. Um, was it yesterday or Saturday? And I commented saying hello or good evening. And it literally just spammed it about three or four times. So I don't know if it's something with YouTube chat in general. I'm still a bit new to all this, so I mean that that sort of thing eludes me at the moment. Someone confirming chat. It's, it looks like it's working my end. Um, side <laughs> I'm a panicking then Tina I'm like, oh no what can I do for fix it <laughs> I'm glad it's still up and running so that's all our leather bits done nice and easy You've nothing to be sorry about. No need to apologise at all. Right. I've got separate water. So I'm getting all professional now. For my metallics. Give it a good shake. Take long this bit. <laughs> See, I'm just checking there's no railings on that one, and some of them have got railings, some have got. Uh, just the graves on. I'm just going in with a, a lead belcher. Just because it's, for me, it's a little bit darker. And then I'll darken it a bit more with some null oil. If I'm being undead, it shouldn't be too bright like a storm horse, storm horse silver, even. 
and oil me up and get the railings done on this bit. Try to get around these vines as well at the same time, don't we? Ooh, major shake there then. Bit on this other side. What's bloody wrong with me? Popping. I'm shaking like mad. Probably too much caffeine. Had a load of it today. They needed it. A big boy spot. I know you're getting that one. Oh, I really like it. That model. I want. I want it. It just comes down to the price of it, really. Um, I think we were discussing the other day. Maybe it's going to be the price of a normal blood. Is it a blood letter you was on about? Comparing it size-wise as well. I mean, if it's roughly that size and price, then yeah, I'll definitely be getting one. Uh, just wait and see, I suppose. Yeah, bloodthirster. I'm sure it was that that you put the picture of in the um, Discord. Definitely a big old boy. Some of the metallic's a bit wrong, I've got this gold bit here. Oop, I'm putting it in wrong water then. There's a big mush there, 70 quid. So the bloodthusters are 70 quid. Or have they released the price for Bellacore? If he's only 70 quid, I'm definitely getting one of them. I won't go. I'm going to retribute. Yeah, 
Yeah, Bloodfest at 70 quid, right. So I meant they'd release the price of the um, Bella Caller. What army um, would you actually use him for? I know you've got your Age of Sigma and you can use him for 40k. But I think the 40k side, have they not got too many as it is? I was on about this the other day in, in the chat. You've already got your, your demons or greater demons. Also, if someone could help me out there, would you use him more as demons or would you use him more? looking more I mean it's sick as an army with like just a bloodthuster and the uh, I always forget what they're called the ones with the, the riding on like weird big like mechanical looking bulls the so I'm not really chaos orientated on 40k or any, well, not on any of them. Focus, there's a very thin bead across here. Get with this gold. Juggernauts. I thought you'd know what I were on about, Spud. It's like they got bloodthusters riding on the back of them. Almost done. It's this one. There we go, that's all our metallics done. Oh damn, there's still seven people hanging out on a Monday. I did awesome. Ten likes as well, oh my god. Crazy. Make sure I've got the right one here. I'm sure I've got a second pot of that in that one. Yeah. I'm rushing to get my paints out earlier. Some of them I've got multiple pots. Right. So, the go to I use for my bones. There's all the, all the 
you can do the arms, but I like leaving them as there. As the ethereal bit. So I'm just coming and just do the jawbone. The a palette witch flesh. Which dries a tiny bit darker. And then once that's dry, go over that with a seraphine sepia. There ain't one on that bit. vines and then that'll probably be it for the night. So not one. Yeah, miss all these bloody skulls. Right. I'll just go back. Once we're on that bit. Just wanna get these skulls on the bases. Right, so there weren't one on that one. There's one just hiding just down here. It's coming with a nice thin layer. just at the base of the tree stump down here so a lot of these bases we'll be getting with just washes anyway so just want to make sure I get them while I can a couple of skulls there and it's mainly the flowers metallic paint or all in my hands I don't want to get that over the model where it's not needed so back onto it just get another palette just get a couple of scoops of Mechanicus standard grey to this down a bit of the two to one
line. tree stump and just be careful around the edge of there and if I can just cover all that I was gonna try and do it another colour Come in, it doesn't matter. Really thin coat, anyway. I'll probably just highlight it up. Hope you have a lovely week. And yeah, I hope to see you in the other. guys want to just pop on and have a look or even leave a like if you want to that'd be um, yeah greatly appreciated get this bit finished up and then we'll see where, where we're at and I end up what time is it it's only nine o'clock let's see how much more we can get done and we might end up calling it there we'll see Just run the brick work on this bit. So you got these. Cheating again, I'll just use a snake bite leather flute, just give it a bit of an edge highlight with a lighter brown. Stands out. I mean, it stands out anyway with the flowers. I 
the time they've been paid, paid to off bloody camera then. Nice and easy, just be careful on the best bet. Just against the rope. 